Hi everyone, welcome to this week's YouTube video. Um, so we're carrying on with our personal contact messages with our higher self, our soul to soul conversations. Um, it's with my great delight that I can supply some of these to give you some insights to what your higher self is focusing on right now. And it might just help in these times of enormous change. Um, I really am getting superb feedback now about how when people are watching um, these individual videos, they're really finding that messages for those that have volunteered or asked me to do this today, it's not just for you, it's for other people too. So I highly recommend you carry on watching these and just sensing, using it as an, an intuitive uh, sort of message really about which of these actually resonate the most for you and, and can you take any benefit from this also? So uh, even though it might be brought through by another person, you may well um, take from other people's messages, which is okay, because we're all one part of this huge humanity's one big soup. We're unique individuals, which we need to celebrate that uniqueness, but together, uh, we share so much. Okay, so this week we're going to start off with, so Vivian, this is for Vivian and your surname begins with G. So Vivian G. This one's for you, Vivian. <laughs> Excuse me while I just start connecting, see what your higher self. Ah. Right, Vivian, the first thing you're, you need, your higher self is saying, can we just, can we just slow our pace down a little bit? Can we slow our mind down a little bit? And can we take some nice deep breaths in? I have done a previous YouTube video, which is called by four by four breath. It's absolutely marvelous. Um, I learned it from a doctor. He learned it from prana yoga. Um, it's absolutely brilliant at allowing us to get as much done as we possibly want to get done, but it just gives us a few minutes in each day to start breathing deeply, to start actually connecting in with our own soul, to connect in with our inner voice and our heart space and just slow everything else down a bit. So your higher self is saying, please, slow down a little bit. It's like, it's like it's a whizzy woo time of life. And, and by whizzy wooing around, we, we, we get, we miss things. We just miss it. We just miss some of the beauty that wants you to revel in and some of the, uh, some of the funny things that are happening around you. <laughs> but sometimes if we get so busy, we, we, we just, it's just like, ha. And then next, it's, it's like, what's the next urgent thing? What's the next thing that we have to get done to, to just feel okay? And your higher self is saying, do you know what? You can spin like zillions of plates all at once and be really cool about it and you can manage it all. But just recently, there's a bit of a cost to that way of living. And your higher self is saying, let's take the opportunity of this message now of like, that's just too costly now. It's really, really tiring. And it's, it's, it's very, it's just like, you're over it. It's like, it's like, it's like you're almost bored with that now. It's like, you know, you really look at that. Is it bringing you joy? Is it bringing you a wholesome life? Is it bringing you contentment? Because your higher self is saying, we've got so much to be content and happy about. Uh, so much to celebrate, like let's enjoy this nice, you know, a bit more even time than we've had re in recent years or months or whatever time scale it is. I'm not very good on time, so I can't get that right. Sorry. So it's whatever period of time. It's like you've got a little bit of a plateau here. So let's, let's, let's surf it a bit and let's enjoy it for the, to the best of our possible ability. So yeah, your higher self is definitely saying, um, 
the plates are not a problem. We can spin as many as we like, but we need to infiltrate the habit of busyness with some beautiful moments of what I call drinking from the well of spirit. And the four by four breath came immediately in when I connected with your higher self. So please, please, please look that one up. It's just breathing in for the count of four, holding your breath for the count of four, breathing out for the count of four, and then a non-breath stillness for four. And then doing the cycle again, you can do four lots of four, and then take a break and have a normal day and then come back and do some more. And it's not one of those things like it's like I have to fit something else in. It's it's it doesn't take it takes just a few minutes, but the benefits are gloriously, gloriously, amazingly outweighed from any little bit of input that you that you put in time wise. It's very, very valuable and your higher self wouldn't be as loud as it is for me to receive today if um, if it wasn't important. The louder I get a message, it just means it's more important. Um, it's not saying you're really loud, it's just saying <laughs> I'm going to get myself into deep water here. <laughs> it's, not, it's saying that it's it's been waiting a while to get that message to you. Uh, and just to remind yourself that you can do that, you can have a chill time and um, build this connection with a loving life into the one you already know. Okay, darling, I hope that's useful in your card for today to carry on with the message. Actually, you've got two. You've chosen two. One is one is Rhino Spirit, which says you can overcome any obstacle. There you go. That's the Rhino Spirit. <laughs> this is really funny as a pair, actually, because I feel like that's your life up to now. That's what you've been doing. And so you know how to do that. You know how to do it really well. You can do that. It's really not an issue. It's just a done thing. But this is the one that wants to just, you just want to make some room for co-creating with spirit. So crow spirit came next. And this one is saying, let's co-create our life with our spiritual connection. Okay, <laughs> see how you go with that. <laughs> My next person is David, David G. So David, this is for you. Let's see what your higher self says. Okay. Okay. So David, you're, you're, so Viv and David, Viv and David. So David, your, your connection, your, <laughs> you operate at a completely different pace from <laughs> Viv. It's like, it's like smooth and round, smooth and round. So you really like things to stay pretty much the same. You, you find a great deal of benefit internally if things are like dooby dee dooby dooby dee do. So they're 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 really I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing like um you know those like scale electric tra like tracks I used to play with as a child <laughs> and they were just loops or or train tracks or something that's just a loop you know a, a child's toy and they just go loop de loop de loop de loop so. You might put the odd, odd rays in it or bridge in it or uh, squiggle in it or uh, over and under, but it would still be the same loop. You get a lot of hmm, peacefulness, really. Contentment, actually, is the word that you're using. If you know your territory and if you know your loop, so you're quite happy doing lots of movement within that loop and there's lots of flexibility that you can have and ways thinking outside the box and doing things differently within the loop as long as you can have your loop. So that's an interesting 
way that's come into my mind with your highest self connection to in saying that it's no bad thing, you know, you don't have to, because if some other people like it differently and some other people like it differently again, that's okay. It's, you know, this life is about us getting really comfortable with our own strengths and our own limitations. And I'm really clear on what I can't do and what I'm absolutely rubbish and crap at and some of the things that I feel, yeah, I'm up for that. I can do that quite well today or very well or what, it, you know, the, the, that pendulum swing in life is, is vast and it, it's, we are, it's such a relief. The higher self wants you to feel this sense of relief by owning up to the fact of what you like and what you're really comfortable in, what's your comfort zone, and what what what's a bit scary and and like, oh, that's that's too much at the moment, then that's okay too. It's okay to own up to those things and and to live that way and to have that. Now, the high self wanted me to pass this to you, but also wanted to say this this set, I keep going back to this. Well, we had cars on our scale electrics set. So, so it's been the same for quite some time. And there's a, an aspect of you that is an adventurer that's been kind of buried for ages under duty, care, under doing things the way they've always been. And in the same way that Viv's got another side of her that wants to come up, you have too. So interesting time in this. But it's like, it's like you want to look at what adventures are out there. And this isn't changing. It doesn't have to change your parameters of life. It doesn't have to change your scalectric set that you're enjoying. This keeps you calm. Why not enjoy that? But it's almost as if you just want to go like, okay, well, maybe I want to have another one over here and just build this to just adventure. What's it like if we do something differently over here and find I liked it, I didn't like it. I can put, Almost like holidays, like going on something that's like different and um, just just try it because you can. That's That's the kind of like quieter, higher self message that's coming up that when it's quieter like this, it's brewing. It's coming up for consideration. It's like, what about taking, what about just changing our behavior a bit to try something different and consider that to be adventure enough? So it's in addition to this, not instead of. So that's the biggest message from your higher self is, is you don't have to think of this as, as being either or. Let's think of it as both. And that way you can keep all of the security and the loveliness and things that keep you calm and content but you can also actually investigate what it is to have this other aspect of your personality have some headroom to be the adventurer <laughs> okay okay let's see what your card is for you oh you've got a couple let's put my glasses on so i can actually see what i'm doing with the cards number 64 Wasp spirit is your first one, and it says sometimes life stings. Now, this card for you also means that you know stings are part of life. You know, we get pinches and bruises and kicks now and again, and we heal from every single one of them. We heal from every single one of them, and your other card is. A scarab beetle and it says magic works through you so you're good at overcoming things and remember that magic works through you maybe this adventurer in you wants to live by the magic view life through the eyes of magic maybe <laughs> Okay, David, I hope that's of you. <laughs> and then the next person who's asked me to do a read is Layla. Layla M. M for mother. Layla. This one's for you, Layla.
Layla, your higher self is bringing through beauty. It's, it's like you've been born with a sole purpose. You, you view things quite differently from many other people in the world. And you do have a gift for beauty. So inside of you, your soul is beauty. You are beautiful. You are absolutely colourful, beautiful, and art and design is actually pouring forth out of you. So whatever role you take in life, it doesn't really matter from your soul purpose point of view because you'll see beauty in some of the things that you're doing. And if you're not, that needs attending to right now. <laughs> so I was seeing like lots of um, flowers, lots of like uh, curtain material, lots of making cushions, lots of creative stuff for it was, and dresses. I mean, the word design came up not as a, a way of, uh, oh, you've got to go off now and, and be a clothes designer or, or make curtains or do this or do that. It's like it's a lot. It's like you have a, a very, very wide, very wide um, expression of, of design, of colour, of beauty, of clarity. It, it, you're very beautiful. Your message today is, you need to adapt to that idea. You are beauty. You are very beautiful. It's like your sole purpose is like getting a bit gritty with it now. It wants to actually bring that more into your life and really uh, honour that and let it flow and let it come out. It's sort of like um, no apologies. It doesn't want you apologising for being who you are. It's like life is going, come on, let's grab it by the ankles and give it a good shake. I'm not quite sure why you're saying that. <laughs> kind of like uh, emphasis that's around this, that, that your higher self is saying, come on, we're beautiful. Life is beautiful. We can see the beauty more than lots of people. Let's do something beautiful. Let's add beauty to the world. How do we help the world? Let's add our view of beauty into this world. And let's be non-apologetic about how we actually live our soul purpose, because that's what it's all about. So you can help you and the world. It's going to be really interesting about what artistry you come up with because you're very eclectic. It could be anything. And I often find when, you know, we've got a wide spectrum of things and we can kind of like do anything. It's like, well, you know, where do you begin? And usually the answer is with anything. Just pick something up and start. Is it photography? Is it drawing? Is it painting? Is it, what is it that you can capture? But materials, textures are def definitely involved in it. You can definitely feel uh, textures. So it's like um, materials and things. Beautiful. And your card for assistance at this moment in time is number 58 and it's the stag spirit and it pretty much sums up what we've just said which says take the lead this is about you this is about you taking the lead in your own life no apologies necessary for being and doing anything who you are it's just be get you know allow yourself to get confident quietly and and grow your own confidence and ability and self-belief and value in yourself so that you don't have to apologize for the fact that this is what you're born to do and you're really 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 good at it <laughs> i feel Layla, that that might be a little bit out the box for you but that your higher self is like I don't know, your higher self could not be clearer. So uh, please sit with that, absorb it, 
and see what you can make out of it that's a benefit to you. OK, thank you. <laughs> OK. Next, but not least, is Linda. Linda D. Linda, this is for you. Okay, Linda. Linda, you, you're an eclectic. You're, you're a person who has very, 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 very many, 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 many different things that go on in your mind and in your life. You've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things going on in your mind and your life. Um, sweetheart, please be gentle with yourself. Please, please. Oh, mm, my loving heart and the healing goes to you. There's a sense of deep loss um, around you right now. Um, and you know what? I think through this transformation time with, with COVID-19 and everything else that's going on in the world at the moment, it's all up for grabs. Everything has changed. This idea of, of scrabbling to have control or to, to, to make things go back to normal there wasn't a normal anyway, really, but there is no going back. You can't go back. No one can. You know, if we think of any any major events, well, wars, say, in, in, in on this planet, we never go back. You don't go back to a time before that. When you've got something that is globally shakes up people's values, self-beliefs, um, uh, that illusion of safety there's no such thing in my view as safety anyway and it's an illusion that we tap into and then it controls us so it's like free yourself of all of that because um now is the time really to start celebrating and it's a time to start you know allowing yourself first and foremost to heal from any losses that you're perceiving you've had and then allowing yourself to feel your way through into the potentiality of a future where love and contentment and a quieter mind and others appreciating your value comes into play. It's full moon. Um, just a few weeks ago. And then we're moving into this time of the moon phase where she's full when you make all of your wishes and you live for those couple of weeks. And then we're at this time now where it changes again and we start to go into the new moon cycle and we start wishing again for new things. What else is there out there? What else can I actually look for? And then that, that that cycle completes itself back to the full moon again. So it's like you're bringing the moon cycle in to this uh, connection that we're having. And it's like, well, celebrate those cycles. And your life is no different from that. Our life is, all of our lives are a complete cycle. Everything has a cycle. It has, you know, a beginning, it has an end, it has. And often I think life is more, more than a cycle in that way. Um, Linda, I often think it's more like a spiral. You know, our life goes, you know, we have a certain event. We have a certain loss, maybe, or a certain event. And then we spiral our way the furthest away from it so it's less painful. And then we come back into it and it's like, oh, that's, we're remembering that loss again. And we feel as if that's again, experienced for the first time. But it's not, there's a bit of difference. We're just over it. So we're remembering all the resonances and it feels real, but we're just over it. And we go on another cycle and then the next time we're further away again. So it's still a memory of the pain, but we're going further and further away, which is why often people say time heals. You know, sometimes I think that saying is very pertinent in the fact that you know, losses and grief and pain is what it is. 
but it can change with time because what time gives us is perspective. And perspective is our friend. It's really extraordinarily valuable in our view of the world and our place within it. So um, I just feel as if right now, you know, this whole month of June and July, I just feel for you gentleness, not asking much of yourself at all, extra on top of everything else, uh, really allowing what is to be appreciated and loved for what it is, rather than driving for any need of any different, to acknowledge all of the feelings that are within you, because they're all valid, they're all extraordinary, and they all need the headspace so the more we resist something, the more it grows. So it's just allowing the tears. It's allowing the laughter. It's allowing the connections with people. It's allowing some quiet time. It's allowing all of these things to be of equal measure. There's a great, your higher self is saying, it's like you need to love yourself a little bit now, be kind to yourself and be gentle. And then beyond that is a field of delight. You're using the word delight. It's like once we've attended to that part of you first, make that your priority first. And then you can invite in delight, delight and more delight. So whatever you feel uh, is delightful <laughs> is then within reach. Okay. I hope that helps, Linda. Let's try this one. Your card is the fox spirit and says, think on your feet. I feel like in your life you've had to do this quite a lot though. Think on your feet. Um, so to me, this is getting a bit wily with it. This is a message to get some, invite some wisdom in with it so that you can actually um, align more benefit of your life for you to get the benefit of. Lots of other people have got the benefit of all that you do, but have some for you. Okay, I hope that helps. <laughs> right, we're going to complete that video for this week and I'll see you next week for our last one in this series. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>